Indeed, he's hooked. It's Dylan Scott on 94.3, the Ox on your Monday ride, 829, and time for Coffee Talk, brought to you by the Comanche Chamber of Commerce and Agriculture. Check them out at hashtag explore Comanche Texas. As we say good morning, welcome in, as always, on Monday, Cynthia Newton with Hope Counseling. How are we doing? Doing well, doing well. January's almost over. What What have you got for me? <laughs> I lost I lost big time last night. <laughs> are, well, are we going to talk, on your talk about football depression? Today. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> Well, it could be. We're in recovery this week. You okay. Know. <laughs> yeah. we, will, we will be okay. There's always next year, right? Well, they always say that, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, we, it, it was a there good year for some, the Cowboys. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It really was a fun game to watch, even though it was very sad for those of us that are Cowboys fans. That's right. For those of y'all that are 49ers fans, we still love you. <clears throat> Yeah. We'll be watching the Super Bowl, <laughs> cheering on the other team. Root, rooting for the refs. <laughs> I'm going to be rooting for the refs. I don't know who I could root for in that game. The refs in the commercials. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So last week we talked a little bit about MLK mm -hmm. because it was, you know, Martin Luther King Day. Sure. And I um, really wanted to take a minute this month to also talk about the fact that January is Mental Wellness Month. Oh. Okay. It's a little bit of a different terminology as i was kind of researching and looking at this i was like okay what's the difference between mental health awareness month which we do have mm -hmm. and mental wellness month okay. so there's actually a difference and we're going to talk about that today isn't that exciting oh, isn't it exciting riveting. to always learn what i'm going to talk about <laughs> sometimes it surprises me but you know i love research all right so according to the national alliance on mental illness 43.8 million or one in five adults in the u.s suffer from mental health issues annually However, the effects of mental illness are spread throughout society and affect us all directly or indirectly. So Mental Wellness Month is celebrated annually from January 1st to the 31st to combat men mental illness and spread awareness. All right. So Mental Wellness Month serves as a reminder to maintain and sustain your mental health. Despite the ups and downs in life, one example of this is honoring the connection between your body and mind. For instance, many people make New Year's resolutions that include exercise, weight loss, and dieting. However, mental health and wellness are just as important as physical health. Right. So I'm just trying to get the idea here. Like yeah. A little bit as to what mental, mental wellness might be about. Okay. All right. So mental wellness involves being able to cope effectively with the difficulties of life, having an awareness of your own abilities and opportunities, and having healthy relationships with yourself and others. The key to mental wellness is being proactive in taking care of our mental well-being before issues arise. By focusing on improving mental wellness and building resiliency, you can overcome the hurdles of life and thrive. It is always a good time to work on mental wellness. Identify one st small step that you can take to improve and stick with it. People with he healthy emotional wellness are confident, have control over their feelings and behavior, and have good coping mechanisms for dealing with difficult situations. Mental health is affected by many things, such as work. You don't have any issues with work, right? No, no. I didn't think so. School, relationships, financial problems, and excessive stress. Physical factors like illness can make you susceptible to mental wellness issues. You may be new to working on mental wellness. However, we're going to talk in a minute about ways to, to look at that and, and how you can uh, cope with that and, and work on your mental wellness. So, did you know that the worst blue Monday is considered to be the third Monday in January. Last Monday. That right? was last Monday. Yeah, I felt it. It was heavy. So it's it's the time when you are completely out of your holiday zone. Uh-huh. And the consequences of your holiday spree begin to surface. Right. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> it's also the time when most resolutions come to an end and people are reviewing their credit card bills or dealing <laughs> with there seasonal depression. This year's let's ditch the Monday blues and make make an effort to improve our mental wellness. So being able to celebrate Mental Wellness Month in January is a blessing in disguise. All you need is to be aware and mindful of your resolutions and set your priorities straight. 
So here at Hope Counseling, as always, we're here to help you, help you kind of navigate that. So mental wellness does not talk about heavy mental health issues. However, mental wellness is about all general mental well-being. It focuses on basic things that strengthen your mental abilities and makes you a better individual. Just like physical exercise is good for physical wellness, mental exercises are good for mental wellness, too. These exercises do not specifically target any mental health condition, but look after your overall mental well-being. Okay. So we're going to look at the overall mental well-being and what can we do to help our mental wellness as part of this new year. Okay. okay? We got past the bluest Monday of the year. Barely. I don't know. Today might be a very blue Monday. <laughs> it's pretty blue. Cowboys fans. Yeah. But that's okay. That's all right. We're we're focusing on the focusing on the positive. <laughs> so overall, there's eight areas of wellness that we look at: mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, social, personal, professional, and medical. Okay, so let's, we're talking about mental, which is the capacity for knowledge, insight, and confidence. All right, so tips to enhance mental wellness. Follow the after work checklist. This is really kind of cool when you think about this. Review. Acknowledge a challenge you faced during the day. Take a deep breath and let it go. This is a great thing to do either on your way home or before you walk into your house in your car. Right. Okay, reflect. However small, consider and appreciate positives in your day. Regroup. Offer support to your colleagues and ask for help when you need it and re-energize. Turn your attention to home and focus on relaxing and resting. Really, really great tool, great tip to help you and your mental wellness to put it aside and transition to home. So create a mental health wellness plan. Create a guide of coping skills, people to talk to in stressful situations, and enjoyable activities to ensure that you maintain the balance between your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. Practice self-acceptance. Use the new year as an opportunity to practice self-acceptance and self-esteem. Two things that a lot of us will struggle with, and we find that. Um, Self-care, put yourself first. I, uh, you often hear me talk about that. I'll probably say that more than once during this, this morning. <laughs> Learn a new skill. Yeah. Creative hobbies can provide a sense of pride and achievement. Exercise for at least 30 minutes every day. That doesn't have to be... Um, like excessive cardiac for those people that just don't exercise very much. I mean, just getting out and walking a little bit every day helps with decrease your depression and anxiety. Be grateful. Practicing gratitude every day can invoke feelings of thankfulness and optimism that make managing challenges easier. Don't beat yourself up when you make a mistake. Everyone makes them. Eat well. A balanced diet contributes to both physical and mental health. Practice what I preach, not what I do. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, my interns, they really pick on me for not eating very well, but yeah. at least they're trying to help me see my faults, see things I need to work on. All right. Get enough sleep. This is, this is really important. Most health authorities recommend that adults get between seven and nine hours of sleep each day. That's a lot of sleep, yeah, it is. you know, when you think about it. Um, avoiding caffeine after lunchtime is, is going to be huge. I mean, in, in combating a little, little, little being able to sleep at night. Now there are people that take to have caffeine and it puts them to sleep. I don't understand that. That's never worked for me, yeah. but you know, I wish it was, you know, the opposite, like, you know, just a jolt, but then again, whatever. <laughs> Can't have everything, right? Nope. All right, slow down. Notice with intention the things you are doing. Draw your awareness to the moment, especially those that are positive. Ask for help when you need it. It's a sign of strength to reach out to resources and support when you're men mental, when you're mental, mental, Mental wellness is suffering. Ask for support. When you can't talk, <clears throat> ask for help. Um, <laughs> meditate regularly. Meditation is a good way to become aware of yourself and come in contact with your inner self. Um, never forget to take a break. That's huge. You know, I mean, it's really funny how much we can be going along doing, 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 and just not take a break. And before you know it, it's the end of the day. So in 2023, let's pledge to allow ourselves to take a break. Taking a break is very important. It gives you time to regain the lost energy and come back even stronger. Always choose the active path. Staying active is very important for your mental and physical wellness. Um, give time to your friends and family. Having a strong support system is very important to lead a healthy life, but you can't expect them to be there for you and not return their love. So always dedicate some time to your friends and family and make them feel loved. Learn stress management techniques. Stress is one of the leading causes of mental and physical distress and unrest. Make sure you learn some stress management techniques so that you can deal with stressful situations. Again, take care of your body 
and then talk about mental wellness. The more, more we openly talk about mental health issues and the importance of mental wellness, the more people will be encouraged to improve their mental well-being. Mental Wellness Month should completely be dedicated to mental health awareness and strategies to improve <laughs> mental wellness. Uh, show gratitude for the good things in life. Plan a trip. Solo or with your trends, friends, traveling and spending time with nature can improve your mood, help you step out of your comfort zone, and provide you with lifetime memories. Take better care of yourself. Again, self-care is a necessary skill that can help you regulate your physical and mental health. Opt for therapy. Contrary to popular belief, therapy is not just for the mentally ill. Those suffering from mental health issues... Uh, or people that are in crisis. Therapy teaches essential life skills. Okay, so therapy is important for everyone. Therapy teaches essential life skills that can help you become more emotionally intelligent, improve the quality of your work and relationships, and live a more relaxed, stress-free life. So, Mental Wellness Month 2023 is celebrated again. It's every year from January 1st to, to the 31st. So this year, obviously, it's from January 1st to the 31st. This month-long event is a reminder to take better care of your mental health, release stress, and become happier and improve the quality of your relationship. You can always opt for therapy and receive professional help for improving your mental wellness. And again, just remember that the therapy is not always just about those that are severe. Maybe it's just to kind of help you get back on track. So here at Hope Counseling, just remember we're here for you. Um, offices in Comanche, Hamilton, Dublin, and Eastland. Anything we can do to help you, 325-356-1105. Uh, right. Hope Counseling. And it's Mental Wellness Month. Mental Wellness Month. Right. So take a check, re, check, take a take a check, and look at yourself and see what you can do to improve your mental wellness, Kyle. All right, Cynthia New. Thanks as always. All right, thank you. See you next week. P two is behind us. Thank goodness. This is Robert Kyle. Mitchell Plus Furniture and Mattress.